How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I have new from the Star Wars Vintage Collection. This is the Armorer's Forge from The Mandalorian. So it does come with a brand new armor, another Grogu, but this one does have a lot of newly sculpted parts. I can, I can tell you that, at least a new body because we've never had one open shirt showing the chainmail before. Um, this one here I am fairly excited for. It's not one of the play sets I was expecting from Hasbro, to be honest with you. Be, just because, you know, we've, we've been getting hallways and stuff like hallways and cantinas and, and something that's, that's not as precise, if that, if that makes sense. That doesn't make sense, but yeah. There are the instructions, and there is the carded armorer right there. We are, I am going to go ahead once again, split up this video here until someone tells me to stop. So I am going to go ahead and go ahead with the forge, and we will open up, we'll open up that armorer up on a, another video. Oh, wow. I was not expecting the Mythosaur skull to be a separate piece. I was expecting that to be sculpted into the, the playset itself. Cut the tape, cut the tape. There's the pieces to the forge. That's really cool looking. That is really cool looking. What do we got here? We've got... We've got the bottom there. The tool chest. <laughs> Top, and then of course the back wall. And bingo. We have all of the pieces, which I don't think I've actually heard of anyone in a while missing really any pieces from any of these play sets. Uh, I know what, in one of the Haslabs there were some pieces missing, I want to say, but, ooh. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and why not we're gonna bust this little guy out here so the bottom goes on the bottom who would have known i can't get that picked up off the table that was weird so there we go then we got the top the top snaps into place as well. Boop. Let's go ahead and get that Mythosaur skull on there real quick. That way we don't have to fight the actual pieces. really do like how that's a separate piece it really makes it stand out a lot more let me go ahead and we get that is that snapped in there already yeah that's technically snapped in so there you have it there is the forge itself so you can add a light in it to have it shine down or you can also add a light in the bottom to have it shine through. I'm definitely gonna have to get get some more little lights for that particular 
setup right there. I'm really digging that though. We're gonna move that back. Well, let's take a look at the armorers. So there's the storage in the bottom. This is a lot lighter than I was expecting. I don't know why I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit more solid, but it is, it is very light. Let's get this opened. I like how it's looking like all of this can be contained inside the the tool chest here. So we've got, let's see, which one goes where? So it looks like the hammer that is in the, the package with the armor itself goes in here. Same with the tongs that she comes with. But we might, huh. So yeah, these don't really position in there. We might be able to put the, the smelting cup, maybe? So yeah, the smelting cup fits a little bit, but the, the other tongs in that really aren't designed to fit. And go ahead and get that to close. <laughs> then you do have the anvil here. You have two different pieces for the anvil. You have the actual anvil part that goes on so you can pound out some like weapons and so on and so forth. Or you have the helmet, the round right there. And I'm pretty sure that's the one that you see at the beginning of, I think it's season three, where she's pounding out one of the, the helmets for the younglings before he takes his, his code. But it does also look like all of this stuff will No, it doesn't. Huh, interesting. I was thinking all this stuff was designed to fit inside there, but it doesn't really want to fit. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and open up this Grogu here real quick. I think this Grogu, he's really cool looking. He does have the ball jointed head and then the ball jointed shoulders. Oh no, I got a little bit of paint wear on mine. I think, is he cast in green and then painted? He might be cast in green and painted. So I've got, or it's paint showing through. But if you look right there, he might be cast in tan with the green painted on. Because it looks like the green's painted on right there. So maybe I just got some overspray. But that that's a little bit of a bummer. You can see on his chest there the mud horn for the Mandalorian clan that he's the part of with Din Djarin. And then he does come with three helmets as well. Which are not like part of any other Mandalorian armor. So you have this, the regular male there, which I think is just a reuse of the Din Djarin helmet. Then you have a, a female, uh, what is that, the, the Spartan style right there, or the Night Owl, that it, the rangefinder does move. Then you do have the large armored helmet right there, which is Paz Vizsla's helmet. And one thing that I think you might be able to do, might look really good, is if you buy um, two of the Shriekhawk sets, you can swap out these helmets and actually make uh, a whole new, you know, three other Mandos. So you'd be able to change over the helmets on the two males and the female, and boom, new Mandos, more Mandos. Let's go ahead here real quick. Let's see... If we can't pop that off so we can go ahead and get a good look at this forge. Go ahead and move that back. I'm really digging how all of this looks. Really need to get some lights. I know a lot of people online were complaining about the top. 
being unfinished, but I mean, it's in a cave. Like you never see the top of the forge in the show. You only ever see it from like this angle right here. It's in a cave. So I'm personally okay with it. Uh, I know, like I said, some people were bummed out, but overall I'm okay with it, with how it ended up looking. Go ahead and get that camera remounted. Right there, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that with. Hit that like, smash that follow. Please follow me on Facebook and Instagram so you can see some pictures of this. Oh, no, that's a little bit wobbly. That's a bummer. But so you can see some pictures of this beautiful playset in diorama action. And thank you for watching.